For my statics problem, I'm doing weight of a car involving equilibrium and tension. Uh, and then it was solved and created by me, Ashley DeLone. So the topics that I tried to cover in my problem were equilibrium equations, free body diagrams, and then I used a lot of lecture seven slide notes to kind of help guide me through and kind of just show me what I want to do for this process. For learning objectives, I decided on solve basic equilibrium problems in 2D and correctly be able to identify and draw the forces needed in a free body diagram. And that one's the most important because that's where I'm missing a lot of my concept points is free body diagrams. So I really wanted to include something that would show that I was able to do those. For the real world description, this problem will show how much the car weighs by finding equilibrium equations using the cable's tension. This problem will demonstrate how to use free body diagrams and equal equations to help solve for the car's weight as well. I also wanted to like include, I didn't include it in the uh, slideshow, but a real world situation would be like if a car you know, roll down the hill and they needed to pull it back up and they're like moving it slowly and it stopped at one point. So we're just trying to find out like the weight of the car that the cable has to hold. So for this problem, I decided that we're going to assume that this friction is not affecting the situation. I thought it'd be a lot, you know, like a lot more simple to do it because I want this to be a more simple problem that could be used for early learning basics. And it just, it's all, it's all right, these are a problem without the friction. Um, the amount of weight that the cable between point A and point B can hold is 2,300 pounds. So that's the tension of the cable can hold that much weight, which is gonna be really, really important for our problem. And then the ramp is angled upwards at 35 degrees. So that ramp is what, uh, the ramp or the hill is what uh, the car is on right now. So for the problem description, uh, a cable is holding the car in place as it is being pulled up the hill. The cable between point A and point B can hold a minimum of 2,300 pounds, which is the tension. Determine the weight of the car in pounds using equilibrium forces and drawing a free body diagram. Friction is negligible for the situation. So this is the free body diagram, which is concept points. So you have the tension of the rope and rope always pulls, it cannot push unless you have a frozen rope, but this is a room temperature cable in this situation. Um, the normal force is that ramp or that hill that's pushing up sideways on the car because the car is sitting at a slant of 35 degrees. And then the weight is mass times gravity, and that is what is basically pulling the car down. And that is also what we're solving for in this problem. So for the solution, determine the equilibrium equations for the x and y directions. So for the f of x direction, for the x direction, you will take the tension of the A and B cable cord minus the normal force, and the normal force again is that what the ramp is pushing up on. It's that kind of force. So in order to solve for weight to get down to here, we're gonna to have to solve for that normal force first, but I'll talk us through you know, the equations first. So you can take that normal force times the sine of 35, so that I equal to zero, and that's your f of x direction. And then you're gonna have your f of y direction, which is gonna be your normal force, again, which is that ramp force, times the cosine of 35, the angle of the ramp, uh, minus the weight. So now that we have our two equations set up to solve for the weight, we're gonna plug in 2,300 pounds, which is the tension of the cable, into the first equation. And the work is done right there and it solves out as N equals about 4,000 pounds. So then we use that number right there and plug that into the F of Y direction uh, equation. And we solve that out to get W. And W equals 3,284.74 pounds or roughly 3,280 pounds. And I said that we're gonna find the weight in pounds, but if we wanna convert that to Newtons, um, that would just be another like, easy conversion step. All right, so for the conclusion, 
the weight of the car that the cable is holding is around 3,280 pounds. And the minimum that the cable can hold is about 2,300 pounds. So I say, like, it seems like a pretty, like, I think it seems like a very, like, reasonable kind of, it makes, it's a reasonable answer that makes sense. It's not, like, too, like, out of the park. So it's a reasonable answer. And um, for a student to be successful with this problem, they must be able to correctly set up equilibrium equations, which is very true and very important because we wouldn't have been able to solve this problem without those two equations. And then the students should also be able to demonstrate how to set up a free body diagram. And again, that one, um, the free body diagram, it wasn't necessarily, I guess, super important to it, but it is like it is a, important to some certain situations and it's always nice to draw them out and just kind of see what's going on. Plus concept points, <laughs> they're very useful. Okay, so for final thoughts, uh, this problem will be used to teach basics of equal forces and free body diagrams. And I kind of mentioned that a little bit in the beginning that this was a more kind of basic problem, which I, I really just needed concept points and more of the basic things. So I thought this was a perfect situation. So it's a very like easy problem to review like uh, early on like steps like learning techniques or just like to introduce the teaching. And then this problem could be great for lecture or reviewing for a test because it's not overly complicated. It is so the problem that I created it's definitely not complicated enough to go on like mastering, but I do think it's a good like teaching one to do like in class when we like work in our groups and do uh, the worksheet stuff. I think it'd be perfect for that because it's. Uh, it's a little bit challenging, like setting up your sum of forces in the X, sum of forces in the Y, but it's just complicated enough to where, like, or just simple enough to where you can, they can try and figure it out and ask questions, and it teaches. Um, and then it would be most beneficial in Lecture 7 going over KLO 1 and KLO 2. So Lecture 7, again, I cite it in um, my template, and then I mentioned in the beginning of the presentation as well. Lecture seven is what I really tried to focus on. That was a big part of, you know, setting up how I was going to solve this and going over the, the equilibrium equations and making sure I was getting those right. And then also talked about free body diagrams. So I was drawing that right too and getting those concept points. So it would be most beneficial to teach this uh, problem or situation in that unit because that's where it relates the most to. Okay. Um, that is all I have. If you have any questions, just email me and let me know. Uh, otherwise, thank you.